Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you are new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. For this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be going over my WW favorite food products. And at the end of the video, I am going to be sharing my monthly favorite lifestyle related products. So if you're interested in the lifestyle part, stay tuned towards the end. I'm going to jump right into my favorite foods and I'm going to do it all in categories so that it's easy for you guys to like take down notes and it's not all over the place. So yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite foods for WW. These are foods that I eat to lose weight. This is how I have lost weight on WW. I have over 55 pounds lost on WW and I eat these foods. These are my staple foods and my favorite foods to have. Um, I do live in an RV, so storage wise, I couldn't show you guys everything. So I am going to mention some of the foods and show you a picture of the label so you guys can take a look and see what it looks like and find it in your store. Um, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. I just don't have enough room to like store all of these products. So let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. And let's just jump right into the video. Right, most important for me to go over first is coffee because that's like the first thing I want in the morning it's coffee so I'm gonna go over my coffee I know Walmart carries this at least where I'm from I can find this at Walmart I know there's also a website but I hear the shipping can be a little costly um, so you might just have to look into that hopefully you guys have a Walmart that carries this but currently this is my favorite coffee this is cool brew mocha coffee you can have it hot or cold and it makes 16 drinks which is more than if you buy like the starbucks cool brew or duncan cool brew i think that only makes eight so you get a lot more out of this and you just squeeze the coffee out and it'll fill up right here and that will be one serving or you can do two sometimes i do two but if you see this they also have original mocha and a hazelnut and i've tried all of them and they're all delicious so that is the first thing coffee and then i'm very picky with my sugar-free coffee syrup <laughs> i have tried so many and the only one i like is the torini sugar-free caramel you can get this at walmart target Publix, or you can order it off amazon this one has no sugary, sugar-free aftertaste. It tastes so good. I love this as my replacement for sugar. So this one's really good. It's a little bit pricier compared to the ones you can find at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Um, I have yet to find this at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I wish I could find it there because I'm sure it'd be a little bit cheaper, but um, it's worth it because it's so good. Okay, a new favorite. This is something I recently just got. This is the Fun Fetty creamer you guys this is so good it it tastes like cake a little bit but to me it tastes more like icing with like sprinkles inside like the funfetti sprinkles you can have two tablespoons for three smart points so what i like to do is do the cool brew one tablespoon of sugar-free caramel two tablespoons of this that is three smart points and then i add one fourth of the unsweetened oat milk I use any kind of oat milk. It doesn't have to be the Califia. All oat milk is so good to me, but make sure you get unsweetened if you want to keep it low in points. One fourth or one third cup is one smart point. So I have a big mason jar of iced coffee, four smart points total, and it's so good because I really like to enjoy my coffee if I'm going to drink it. So this is my current favorite combination. And oat milk is one of my favorite milks. I use it in smoothies, I use it in oatmeal, I use it in my coffee, um, I even cook with it sometimes in like creamy soups. Um, it's just, it tastes like oatmeal, it has an oatmeal aftertaste, and it's a little bit more creamier and thicker than almond milk, so it's one of my favorite milks ever. Next is my drinks. I'm only sharing two with you guys, um, but my, my favorite drink to have because I don't drink alcohol I like to have some kombucha this one's my favorite um, it's the gingerade kombucha this is what it looks like you can find it at Walmart Target Publix um, but this one's really good especially if you're not crazy about kombucha flavor this one's like the best like mild kombucha flavor and I really like it so that is my favorite kombucha I like to have like over some ice Oh, good you can even put like carbonated water in it is really good okay I usually always have sugar-free lemonade 
but I've noticed it kind of is starting to give me like acid reflux and I really don't want to be eating so much sugar-free items and ingesting and drinking sugar-free things all the time. So I've been taking a break from sugar-free lemonade and I've just been doing lime juice. It is so good. I love lime. I don't even know why I never thought of this before. Um, and also my husband is loving it and he does not drink water, but he... Well, he doesn't like to drink water very often, um, but lately he's been doing it with the lime and he likes it. So you can get this at Walmart for 88 cents. This is what it looks like. You could also do the lemon if you prefer lemon, but I really like the lime and I think it's so good. So those are my two drinks. All right, since I need to get my condiments back into the fridge, we're going to go over condiments next. Pasta sauce used to be a struggle for me to find like a low point pasta sauce that I loved. And I know you can make the zero point um, marinara, crock pot marinara, but sometimes I just don't have time to do it or I don't want to do it or I just don't have enough storage in my fridge because again, I live in an RV, so my fridge is very tiny. Um, so this pasta sauce, I have my phone out so I can give you the exact points because I forget. <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing. Okay, one half cup for three s'more points and 50 calories. This pasta sauce, I could probably eat it out of a spoon. It's so good. This is the organic roasted garlic pasta sauce. And I've had roasted garlic sauce, but like not organic, but this one has like chunks of garlic and it's so good. I don't know why. It's just one of the best pasta sauce I've tried. And I feel like it's pretty low on points. You don't have to even have a half a cup. You could use like one fourth cup. One third cup is two points. One fourth cup is one point. So I feel like that's really good for a pasta sauce. So this is my favorite pasta sauce. It's so, so good. And you can get it at Walmart. All right, next is one of my favorite chili pepper sauce. This is like something I put on food if it's just kind of bland or veggies. If you don't like heat, you might not like this, but it just has like a smoky chili flavor. Um, I get it from Trader Joe's. This is the chili pepper sauce. And this one's so, so good, you guys. This is like my second bottle. I don't go to Trader Joe's often, but when I do, I have to get this. It's also really good on eggs and roasted veggies, like I said, chicken, your burrito bowls, things like that, and it's zero smart points. So, love that. Another thing that zero smart points is Taco Bell sauce. I'm sure you guys, most of you might be familiar with this. It's zero points no matter how much you have. This is the hot one, you guys, I love hot food. But they also have a medium and a mild. You can get it at Walmart or Target, it's so good. You can put it on anything you want, anything that's bland or Mexican style flavor, your burritos, your eggs, so good. Another current fave, I really am loving this dressing. Let me scan it for you guys. Two tablespoons for two smart points. I think I usually have three tablespoons for three, yeah. This is the Toasted Asian Dressing by Kraft. Really low in points, so that is a good one. And then Bolt House is a favorite. My favorite is the Sweet Heat Sriracha. You guys, this one is so good. Of course, I picked the spicy one as my favorite. Two tablespoons for two points, and two tablespoons is 45 calories. So this one's a fave of mine. Another fave is the Cucumber Ranch. You can have two tablespoons for one smart point. The Creamy Caesar. This one's really good as well if you just really love Caesar. Caesar is usually super high in points. This one's two smart points for two tablespoons, 45 calories. They're all yogurt based um, and they're really good. So those are my top three faves. And then I also like their Honey Mustard, but currently I've been obsessed with a different kind of honey mustard. The Skinny Girl Honey Dijon Fat-Free Sugar-Free Dressing. It's kind of like a honey mustard mixed with a vinaigrette. Two tablespoons is zero. Okay. Four tablespoons is one point. And then just a OG <laughs> Berman's hot sauce. Kind of like, um, what's the one hot sauce that's really popular? Franks. This one's from Aldi, so it's a little bit cheaper. It's Berman's hot sauce. Um, another thing I like to do, grab it because I think I have it. Yeah. So this is a snack idea. I like to do um, tuna or chicken. You can do like a canned tuna 
or a canned chicken and you add light mayo and Berman's hot sauce, salt, pepper, garlic powder, mix it together. You can have it with celery. You can have it on a lightly salted rice cake where you could use like crackers to have like a dip. Super fast to make and it's really good. So this combination is really good. I'm probably going to say really good like 50 times in this video. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'll try not to, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> Another thing that I think is brilliant that I'm so glad I found out is when I want to cook with olive oil, I have recently started doing this. This is minced garlic in olive oil because I usually always cook with garlic. It's like a favorite. So one tablespoon of this is one smart point. I feel like that's really good because one tablespoon of olive oil is a lot. I'll leave it on the screen how much it is because I don't remember, but I know it's definitely more than one or two smart points. Um, so I think this is a really good idea and it kind of makes it like the minced uh, garlic when it like heats up, it gets more watery and then mixed with the oil. So I feel like it like multiplies if that makes sense. But <laughs> this is what it looks like. I got this one from um, I think Walmart or Target. Bada B A D I A is the brand, um, but yeah, this is really good. And I think it's like just such a smart way to use your smart points, but still get that yummy olive oil situation going with your cooking. Y'all, <laughs> this sauce is so good. This is the Buffalo Wild Wing Parm Garlic Sauce. It is so potent and it's so good. And we've been eating it with shrimp. Our chicken it's almost gone two tablespoons is 130 calories and I'm pretty sure two tablespoons is three smart points um, but it comes up like 10 smart points in the app I don't know why but I promise you when it came in two sets and it had a barcode because it doesn't have a barcode on the bottle it only had a barcode on the wrapper the wrapper barcode came up correctly but when you search it in the app it just doesn't come up right but yeah this stuff is so good they also have a a barbecue sauce which is really good and it, that came with it as well but that one's not like my favorite I'd rather just share this one with you and then show you guys this barbecue sauce which I'm sure you guys have seen Jihoo's sugar-free original I do not like the hickory but I do love the original the hickory one not a fan but the original super good and it's sugar-free you can have like one fourth cup I think for one smart point all right next we're going to talk about seasonings i just have a few seasonings i am a seasoner if you've watched my meal prep you guys already know um a current fave of mine that i can just pour and douse my food in is minced onion it's 88 cents at walmart i don't know why i'm so obsessed with minced onion but it's just so so good yeah you put it in everything you won't regret it Another thing is, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, like me, mine's pretty far, it's like 40-45 minutes, Whole Foods has an everything bagel seasoning that is so close to comparison and is so good. I think it was like $3.75 um, at Whole Foods, but this is what it looks like and it is good, you guys. If you don't have a Trader Joe's and you have a Whole Foods a little bit closer, run in and pick this up. So worth it. And then next is nutritional yeast. This is really high in B12. If you are on a vegan diet or vegetarian diet, this is your best friend. It tastes kind of cheesy. Obviously it's not cheese, but it tastes a little cheesy. It has like a cheesy hint to it. Um, you can put it on avocado toast. You can put it in your egg scramble or your tofu scramble, but it's just really good. And this is what it looks like. All right, next we're gonna go over toppings. This is like toppings for anything really. First is fat-free cheese. <laughs> so you can have one fourth cup for zero points. So this is perfect for like burrito bowls, pizza. So I have mozzarella and cheddar. One fourth cup, zero smart points. And I don't have a problem with melting it. Um, you know, just cook it well, cook it good, and it should melt fine. I never have issues with it. So toppings, fat-free cheese. Another favorite of mine and I put this on salads, soups. It's just so good. Seasoned croutons. And this is where it's at. Five pieces is 30 calories. And I usually weigh mine out. One ounce is three smart points. So I usually weigh mine out. I usually have one ounce. Um, that can get me anywhere from like five to seven croutons for 
three smart points. And I put this on soup, salad, another favorite of mine. One tablespoon is one smart point of real bacon. I like this better than bacon bits. They're called real bacon pieces. You can get them at Walmart near the salad um, croutons and toppings. It just adds so much yumminess to your salad and I just, it doesn't taste weird. Like bacon bits taste so weird to me, but these, um, another favorite topping I'm going to leave a picture right here for you guys is wonton strips. So good. Crispy onions and crispy jalapenos are one of my favorite salad toppings. You can find them. I find them at Walmart in the produce section near like the end aisle, but they're so good on top of salads and burrito bowls. Like get your hands on them because they will make your salad so much better. All right. One of the best things is snacks. So first things first, PB powder pb fit pb powder you can use any kind you want i got pb fit i have a lot of it um the chocolate one's one of my favorites and then just the plain pb fit so this is what they look like you can actually order these online you can get them off amazon you can find them at walmart um i think target even carries them um and if you can't find pb fit you can find pb um like pb2 and that's super super good and i use that quite often um but my favorite recipe which is a recipe i created and all it is is PB powder and sugar-free syrup. You just mix the two, depending on how much you want. If you want like one serving, you can do one tablespoon of PB and like two tablespoons of syrup if you want it like thinner, or you could do like one and a half or one tablespoon of sugar-free syrup for a thicker um, PB2 butter is what I call it. You guys, it's so good. I have so many people who have tried it and recreated it, and I love seeing you guys try it out because it literally, people say it saves their lives. I believe them because peanut butter is really high in points and PB powder with water tastes horrible but with sugar-free syrup it's thick it's creamy it's sweet it's so good you can put it on top of anything it's so easy it's one tablespoon for one smart point one smart point it's so Greek yogurt non-fat plain Greek yogurt zero smart points um, this is just Chobani. You can use Great Value. This was on sale. So we picked up the Chobani because it was on sale. Um, but mix it with sugar-free Jello. You can use any flavor you want. Lime is the best. They have cherry, strawberry, orange. Just mix one tablespoon, half a tablespoon, whatever you feel like you need. You can kind of add as you go. One of my favorite snacks, especially like late at night when I want something sweet but not high in points, I go for this. Oh. My favorite yogurt ever. This is such a good snack. It's three smart points for the whole container. This is silk oat, yeah, oatmeal, oat milk yogurt, um, and strawberry. Strawberry and vanilla are my favorite. Um, it's a thinner consistency, but it's just so good. And it, ha it just tastes like oatmeal. So it tastes like yogurt and oatmeal mixed together. And it's strawberry flavored, so it's super yummy. You can add more strawberries or any kind of fruit to it if you want. Most of the time, I just eat it plain because I just like it so much. And it's just a good snack to tie me over. Um, so yeah, if you see this and you don't mind a thinner kind of yogurt, try it out. I'm hooked on this. Joseph's Pitas. One smart point for a pocket, 60 calories for one pita pocket. Um, we ate like three of these. We've gone through them so much. We've done pizza with it. We've done gyros or we just rip it up and have it with the best hummus ever, caramelized onion hummus. Two tablespoons is two smart points. I have tried so many hummus flavors. This one's the best. Our favorite item for snack or lunch is the carb counter whole wheat wraps these are one smart point their um wellness wraps are one smart point also and those are very popular in the ww community but these are so much better if you can find them test them out see for yourself the texture is just so less gritty these are the best all right i know the smart points for these because they're so good and they're like crack they're called pop corners. They're called, they should be called crack corners, crack pop corners. <laughs> um, 
one ounce which is about 17 chips i would recommend weighing it out because you could get more um is 120 calories and four smart points these this is the um kettle corn i've tried the movie butter popcorn one which is really good and it almost tastes like buttery movie popcorn but this one is the bomb it is so so good but you have to be careful if you are someone who can like indulge in chips that's my weakness chips are my weakness you might indulge in these um i've had i think the highest i've used on these is like 12 points i just could not stop eating them so be careful next is a fiber one chewy bar this is oats and chocolate now they have the fiber one brownie um which is good and i like it but this bar is so good it's four smart points it's like so how do i describe it like it's full of oatmeal with like dark chocolate on top it's very chewy but i like that and i it fills me up more than the brownie does four smart points but i don't feel like that's bad i use this if i'm like out and about you know running errands i'll throw it in my purse or at night if i'm like really wanting dessert but i don't feel like making anything i will grab one of these and it'll like cure the sweet tooth um so yeah if you see these check them out but just be aware they are a chewier bar so gotta watch your teethers and then i also have been obsessed with veggie straws these are just the plain sea salt ones i got the variety pack with the cheddar and zesty ranch cheddar is my favorite and then the ranch one's my second and then this one's my third but i've already ate me and joey already ate the cheddar <laughs> and the zesty ranch so this is all we have left but these are really good they're three smart points for the whole pack and 100 calories i've just really been liking them and i like buying them in the snack size because it helps with like portion control so i got these by the way at target this is the mint olive buffalo kosher pickles they are so good zero smart points a great little snack um you could have like a little hummus platter with some pickles and just fill up on some zero point options you're good to go. But any kind of like pickle for me, I like to always have a pickle in the fridge. Um, I usually have this in the morning with my breakfast. I'll do two slices for four smart points. One slice is two smart points and I will do avocado spread with a boiled egg. But I wanted to talk about this bread because it tastes just like Dave's Killer Bread, but it's like a dollar something cheaper. Um, you can get it at Walmart. It's the organic great value multi-grain seeds thin sliced bread. So this is what it looks like. And it's a really good thick yummy bread it has lots of like nuts and seeds on it just like the dave killers bread and it's two smart points for one i'm gonna talk about my favorite pasta this is the protein plus pasta but this is my favorite pasta this is the angel hair you can have two ounces for five smart points i weigh it out dry um two ounce dry for five because once it's cooked it holds all that water so it's heavier so i do two ounces dry for five smart points and it is so much pasta you guys i think it's more than a cup like it's a lot of pasta for five smart points it's amazing Next, we're going to go over frozen food. The first one being healthy choice. This is the unwrapped burrito bowl. You can have this for six smart points and 270 calories. I load it up. I add some stuff to it and it literally took me two minutes to like get the toppings together and then this takes four minutes to cook. So it's so fast and it's just a really good option. Another favorite is these chicken melts. I did get these at Sam's Club. I believe Sam's Club and Costco if you have a membership for them. Um, you can get these flatbread chicken melts for five smart points. They are so good. A little higher in points because one pocket is five smart points, not two. I wish. Um, so one pocket is five smart points, but it's worth it. So this one's a little bit higher in points, but it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, love these. Another frozen chicken option is these Simply Smart Organic Crispy Chicken Tenders. These are, are they're lightly breaded chicken breast strips. You can have three ounces for four smart points. Um, and these are really, really good, you guys. They're breaded, they're yummy. This is kind of a random one, but mixed fruit, frozen mixed fruit. Um, this is, the reason why I'm showing this one is because it has pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango. So this is why I like to get this because I'd rather get 
it all in one and then have to get like individual bags just because I don't have a lot of room and it saves me money. So I tend to go for this one, the variety of fruit in here, and I will make this with a fruit smoothie and some protein powder and some oat milk, um, a banana, you can throw some spinach in there and that is a really good option for a snack, a lunch, breakfast, whatever you want. So I got this from Walmart. All right, guys, that is it for all the food products. That's everything I have for this month's favorite products for WW. If you guys like the food um, favorites, I guess is what I should call it, monthly food favorites, <laughs> um, let me know in the comments down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys really like these. Give this video a thumbs up as well so it kind of lets me know that you guys are really digging this kind of video, and I will continue to make them. I absolutely love trying new food, so I will have a new kind of variety for next month if you guys want to see another one. If you are interested in seeing the lifestyle portion of this monthly favorite, then continue to watch. If not, thank you guys for watching the portion of the food. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into lifestyle. My, one of my personal favorite things to share. Okay, so first I'm going to do skincare because that's my absolute favorite thing besides food to talk about. I love taking care of my skin so much. So the first thing is the, this is by Alba Botanica. They are cruelty free. Um, re they use recycled material, which is awesome no parabens um, no animal testing um, it's hypoallergenic this one is the Hawaiian facial cleanser what the cleanser looks like um, you can order this off Amazon or Walmart has it Target has it but the thing is they might not have the exact product you want so um, sometimes they do sometimes they don't it just depends but if there's something you see and they don't have it you can order it off Amazon this mask is one of my current <laughs> favorites I love how it feels it's like a gel here, I'll show you. It's like a little green gel. Um, and it just dries on your face. You can leave it on for five or ten minutes. Yeah, I love this mask so much. It smells amazing, feels amazing. One of my favorites. And then um, this is the Even Advanced Enzyme Scrub in Sea Algae. But this is the scrub I like to use probably like once or twice a week, depending on how dry my skin is. In the winter, I use this more. In the summer, I use it less. And then once I'm done taking care of all that, my moisturizer is very important to me. Um, I have to use moisturizer. This is the Smoothing Jasmine and Vitamin E. This is the Hawaiian um, Moisturizer. Hawaiian Moisture Cream, actually. And it's just, it's amazing, you guys. That's all I can say. It's thick. It's nice you only need a little so that is my current favorite skincare alba botanical and then these are kind of like random but this is one of my favorite essential oils and this is sandalwood and vanilla which is safe for dogs um but i would be careful how much you spray because dogs are sensitive to scent um anything with like essential oil they are sensitive to it so just don't spray too much um and i try not to spray it on the rugs because the dogs like rub their nose on the rug so i actually don't spray this on my rugs i just like spray it in the air um, but this is the better homes sandalwood and vanilla essential oil spray and i really really like it way more than febreze and anything like our glade I like this one. Next, I showed this in a recent, I should have showed this with the skincare, but this is the collagen, beauty collagen. So this is for skin, hair, nail, and joint. I have this in my cold um, beverage. Um, this is the lavender lemon one, and I have been loving it. For one, it doesn't taste bad. It just has like a little weird taste, but nothing serious. I taste more of the, le the lemon and the lavender than anything, um, but I'm taking this to just start kick collagen um because we already have collagen naturally but it like dies away um as you age um and it's recommended to start using in your 20s so i need to get on it um but yeah this is a current fave and i'm really really enjoying it um and i'm hoping i kind of start noticing effects from it um so yeah we'll see so the only reason why i'm sharing this is because it's helped me a lot with my hormone imbalance and with my period this is the pink stork fertility tea um, I did get this off Amazon. Target also carries it, but I have noticed such a difference with this. Um, you just want to read the, dis the instructions and how much you want to drink. I have two cups a day. Um, so this is like my fourth bottle, but it has helped so much, you guys, just with my hormonal imbalance. Um, there's red raspberry, nettle, um, what else is in here? Chasta berry, and a few other things. Um, but yeah, I'm just... <sighs> 
I'm really happy I got this. And it's just something I wanted to share if anyone else is out there trying to conceive and having some issues um, with hormonal imbalance and things like that. Um, check this out. Okay, last thing I want to share is household products. I got this from Grove. By the way, Grove Collaborative is like a subscription you can do and um, you can get some supplies for your house. It's all cruelty-free, plant-based, why I like it so much. Um, so these are my current order and these all are my favorites. Like I'm so happy with these. My favorite, I wanted to share. This is my number one favorite, the Lemon Ginger Squat, <laughs> Squat, Squirt and Mop. You just squirt it on the floor and then mop it up. It's so easy. You don't have to do the big bucket with water and all that stuff. And you don't need much. Like, a lot goes a long way. I've already cleaned my floor like 10 times. And I still have quite a bit. And then the Method All Purpose Wipes. This is in the Lime Sea Salt. I'm obsessed with these. I also got it in a grapefruit. Love it. And then the Shower Cleaner. This is the Method Daily Shower Cleaner. This stuff works so good. My shower is so clean. And then the spray. I love this stuff. This is the Mrs. Myers spray. Smells amazing, works great. And then the last thing is the Method toilet cleaner. This is almost gone, this is in Spearmint. This stuff smells good, gets my toilet so clean. And I just love that it's all cruelty free. Um, so that's really important to me. And I really like Grove a lot. If you guys are interested, I do have a link with, that will give you a five piece gift set, like sprays, soaps, and things like that. You'll get like a little gift set with your order. So if you are interested, check the link if you use any of these products or if you want to try to use these products, um, check it out down below. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these monthly favorites, my WW food staples and favorites. I enjoyed making this video so much and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Listen baby, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough baby.